Natural hair is anything that goes against the European aesthetic. I love that my hair is defiant. My hair is an expression of art because I play with colors, I play with shapes. I can come into spaces with brown skin, blonde hair, mohawk cuts on my side. I can be present but look completely different from other people and you just need to deal with it. My hair was perm very early in life, by third grade, roughly speaking. I just remember my mom slicking my hair down, keeping the perm until it tingled a little bit because you wanted your baby hairs to be super slick. And it wasn't really my hair. When I decided to do the big chop in 2010, I got to see really what my hair was capable of. I hate the fact that I didn't know my hair sooner. One thing that I noticed when I cut my hair is that I had nothing to hide behind anymore. There were no more distractions. When my hair was permed, I would say I had a more feminine aesthetic. People have this perception that a Caesar is a masculine look. I was still able to sustain my femininity, even though I had a really low haircut. And that broadened my capability of showing what femininity is. I use hair in my artistic expression in my last piece. I made a replica of the American flag using hair. I wanted to do something that was unapologetically black and I knew that our hair is undeniable. My flag is a combination of both patriotism and also protest. It's patriotic because it's a holistic view of this country's foundation. We can't talk about this country being so great and all these other things without really acknowledging the contribution of the enslaved Africans. As far as protest, I want to show that we are a resilient people. Our vigilance is something that has been a part of our DNA. Braiding is a part of our lineage, and I wanted to incorporate that because it's also very familiar. If you're talking about the story in its holistic version, you know, everyone's entwined and braiding shows that. The actual name of the piece is This Land is Our Land, which has been lovingly nicknamed Justice. You know, the, the chorus is what rings in people's head and everyone will start singing, this land is our land, yada, 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 but is it really made for you and me? And I want people to think about that and what does that really look like in your life? When I see people approach the work, I see them have a visceral reaction and it's either they run away because it's too much for them to ingest at that time, or there's this immediate understanding, this immediate dialogue that they then follow up with a thank you. Thank you for bringing this to the forefront. Thank you for making us visible. I want her to do a myriad of things. I want her to make people feel pride, especially black people, to feel pride about our resilience and us being defiant. But I also want her to evoke questions and shame and guilt and all of the things that people don't want to feel and then I want them to sit in it because when you sit in those emotions it taps into a sense of humanity that has been lost. I had a white woman come up to me and as I was reciting my revision to the Pledge of Allegiance that is way more inclusive. She just started hysterically crying. And you could just see the array of emotions overwhelming her. You know, this country really needs to have a day of reckoning. And I feel that our hair opened up the dialogue for conversation. Just don't touch my hair.